Welcome back. Your day is what you make it. Time and time again, we've been told this. Or maybe you've been told this. I've been told this. Told that the key to our happiness can be found in our outlook on life. That if we decide that we are going to have a good day, then our day will be good. And I've put this into practice. And if you've ever put this into practice, you went through a day doggedly with that attitude, then you may have found out that indeed you were less bothered by things that would normally upset you and actually did get more enjoyment out of your day. So uh, that's it, right? It's a good thing to attack life with a positive attitude because we can make our days better by doing that. Well, yes and no. You see, you're going to have to be wary when you approach life with such an attitude because there are times when being upset is actually a good thing. Feeling upset over events that have happened is an emotional pain response, and its function is very similar to a physical pain response. It's there to teach you to not let happen what just happened. Don't let it happen again. So when you attack your day with an overly positive attitude, you're numbing the upsetness that you feel. You're giving yourself less emotional incentive to fix the problem that made you feel upset in the first place. Speaking from my own personal experience, I can remember a number of times where I slacked off on my responsibilities, and when the consequences weighed on my mind, my way of dealing with my emotional upset was to simply say, oh well, I'm not going to let this ruin my day. As a result, I didn't reflect on how I had let myself down or make any plans to avoid not feeling that upsetness again. The danger of forcing a positive attitude is apathetic contentedness. Now, I'm not telling you that it's healthy to obsess over every little thing. Sweating all the small stuff can lead to other issues, but be wary of apathy. Don't let your greed for joy steal your happiness from you. The ancient Greeks believed that it was very important for us to experience a wide range of emotions, a full range of emotions. And I think that this is a good example of how putting that uh, thought on emotions into practice is the uh, correct course of action throughout our daily lives. And the reason for that is that if you build up a habit of being in a bad mood, then you're practicing being in a bad mood. It's mental memory, just kind of like muscle memory. You've conditioned yourself to be in a bad mood more often. Where at the same time, if you condition yourself not to take events that should not be happening or things that upset you into consideration, well, then you're conditioning yourself to allow for those things to happen, not to prepare against it. So uh, in summation... Try not to sweat the small stuff too much, but don't allow yourself to become apathetic. This has been the uh, short video I wanted to talk on today. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.